Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk. Back in the video today, and today we're going to be talking about the Miami Dolphins potentially signing wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. As the Dolphins have met with the with the veteran wide receiver, three-time Pro Bowler, one-time Super Bowl champion, uh, they've met with him. They really like him. They want to sign him. No, no, you know, no, no deal has been made yet. But I think Odell Beckham Jr. next to Tyreek Hill and you know Jalen Waddle would be a great wide receiver trio i really would i mean don't really think anybody would think that odell beckham jr would become a wide receiver three but that would be the case odell at times was the wide receiver two for baltimore last year wide receiver one was zay flowers and odell was wide receiver two and and bateman was wide receiver three in 14 games and six starts with the Ravens, Odell Beckham Jr. had 64 targets with 35 receptions for 565 receiving yards and three touchdowns. I think he would play a lot better on the Dolphins and the Ravens, and I'll tell you guys this. Uh, I don't know how he stays healthy. That is one thing. Now, you know, something is different than compared to last year uh, for Odell Beckham Jr. I don't want to talk much about it, but he might have a curse now and that curse is called the kardashian curse as him and kim kardashian are reported to be dating uh but are under the radar maybe odell doesn't want to be under the radar because of that curse but uh, odell had a good season with the baltimore ravens a run first offense lamar runs the football and whoever the running back is they run the football and the reason i say that is because last year we saw so many injuries for the baltimore ravens running backs speaking of a curse i talk about odell beckham jr uh with you know the kardashian curse the ravens have their own curse with running back injuries uh last season it was terrible i mean keita mitchell Season ending injury, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards had multiple injuries throughout the year. There's so many running backs for them, had so many injuries. and But whoever was playing at the running back position was playing fairly well, and they were giving it to them. Uh, usually it was Gus Edwards, but it always changed. Keita Mitchell stepped up, then he got injured. Um, but yeah, so they run the football a lot. Obviously, they pass the ball a lot to Odell. He got nearly 600 receiving yards in 14 games. So they pass the ball. That's why Lamar Jackson won MVP, but he also runs the ball a lot. I just think, yes, Miami, they they run the football as well with Mostert and and also uh, the the second-year guy, uh, Devon A. Chain. I don't know why it took me so long to remember his name. Uh, but they have those two really nice running backs. So obviously they run the ball too, but they don't run the football as much as, you know, as – as Baltimore does, and, you know, Tua had a great throwing season as well uh, to the point where, you know, they trust Tua. And I know the playoffs was, you know, that was different. But, you know, I think that things would be different for Odell. I don't know if he would, you know, have more receiving yards. But I think Odell for sure would have more touchdowns and more targets and more receptions with the Miami Dolphins compared to – the Baltimore Ravens last season. And that is if he stays healthy, though, because that's been a big problem for Odell in his career, or, or just recently in, in his career. But let me know your thoughts on the potential signing for the Miami Dolphins. I think he'd be great to add in next to Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. And that's also something that might take him down as well. I mean, he's a wide receiver three. So obviously, two is going to be looking at Waddle and, and Tyreek Hill before he throws Odell Beckham Jr. But let me know your thoughts on the potential signing in the comment section and peace out.